Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video, I'm excited to do. It's gonna be a little bit of a roast, and a roast on me. I'm gonna be talking about some skincare products that I no longer use in my collection, and kind of roasting myself for either just using them in general, or using them as long as I did. That is what today's video is going to be about. I'm kind of looking forward to this video because I think it's just gonna be kind of humorous and chill. But before we get into the skincare products, I did wanna say that there's a sponsor on today's video and thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today. I have worked with them in the past. They are a jewelry company and I am wearing all of their jewelry right now. So I'm gonna jump into that first and then, then the roast, the roast is on. Another thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring the first portion of today's video. I've been working with them for quite some time. You've seen me mention them in past videos. And not only do I just think that they are a great brand to work with, but I love their jewelry pieces. You see me wear them so many times from earrings to necklaces to these rings. These are my declutter rings. You see them in all of my declutter videos. They just have some great quality pieces. I really love what their brand stands for with ethics and sustainability. And I just highly recommend their jewelry if you are looking for something, if you're looking for something for you or gifting to someone else or you want to let someone else know that you would like a gift that's fine too. To show you the three new products that I have on, so let's start with my earrings because I think that these are so much fun. These are called the Dobie earrings or the Dobby earrings. These are actually in collaboration with Michelle Choi. These are 14 karat gold earrings with gorgeous pale green adventuring gemstones and they do have a little hoop and then the gemstone hangs down and I loved the green in them. It was like a little bit of more adventurous pieces for me. A lot of times I'm into smaller like more dainty pieces is usually what I say for my jewelry preferences and just a lot of either like gold or silver especially for my earrings I don't do a lot of gemstones or colors but I felt like like I could not pass these ones up necklace I definitely feel like is a statement piece this is called the Adam bold necklace so it's a little bit more almost choker style I liked this but also I just felt like with the gold and how kind of larger these squares are in here like it just is more of a statement piece you know I see some like really cool outfits being put together with like all black outfits or things like that and then they just have on like statement gold jewelry kind of thicker jewelry and I'm like that's a vibe and I want to be in that vibe then finally for the bracelet it is very similar to the necklace and this is called the Nana bracelet so again very similar just kind of more of that bold piece I feel like if I'm wearing one or the other I'm going to be wanting to wear both the um, bracelet and the necklace because I just feel like they're their own vibe together if you will but again just another I <laughs> I feel like it's another statement piece yet at the same time like it's not too much like especially for bracelets again I like things that are a little bit smaller a little bit daintier like look good if I was like wearing a watch also and I feel like this piece would do it so those are my three new pieces from Ana Luisa they are running a sale now on their website for 15 percent off so I will have a link in the description box for that my link is not an affiliate link but of course it always helps a brand to know where the traffic is coming from. So if you go through my link, I definitely would appreciate it so much. But again, you can get 15% off on the Ana Luisa website for you, gifts for you, to let someone else know you want a gift, whatever it is that you want to do. But thank you so much to Ana Luisa for continuing to partner with me. It really means a lot. Thank you guys so much for giving me these opportunities. And now let the roast begin. So if it's not obvious, I do have a hair piece in today. I, ha I have some extensions in. I don't know if any of you thought it was obvious but I just really wanted to okay like I just mm, I just wanted it to happen so here we are so the first product that I want to talk about so again some of these are like why did I use this why did I buy it why did I keep using it all that sort of thing this one I feel like I was peer pressured by the entire internet the entire skincare everybody to try this brand and love this brand so I bought this product and then when I realized I didn't like it and I didn't think it was meshing with my skin I kept using it because I was like everyone's gonna hate me when I say that I don't like this product but it's from CeraVe everyone loves this brand and talks about it and hypes it up and it like sells out in stores and I got the foaming facial cleanser for normal normal to oily skin. I have more like combo oily skin. It's supposed to cleanse and remove oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier. It's good for oil control. I thought perfect, like I'm gonna get this. And you know what is so funny? 
I had only seen positive things about this. I saw people buying it. I saw people using it. I saw people recommending it. I saw it in recommendations for oily skin. I'm like, okay, I buy it. I put it in a TikTok that I buy it from like Target or something like that. Like did a Target haul, I bought this. I had multiple comments on that video from people saying, oh, I bought that same cleanser and I didn't like it. It broke me out. It gave me white bumps. It didn't work out for me. I ended up throwing it away. And I'm like, excuse me, miss. Excuse me? So why is the rest of the internet telling me to buy this? I was like, I immediately just had a bad feeling. I was like, great. Here we go. And it's not like it was, you know, bad to use, but after a few times using it, I started to notice white bumps on my face. And then the more that I continued to use it, I just kept getting more white bumps on my face. So I ceased using it and those went away. <sighs> so there was, there was my experience with that. It says it has three essential ceramides with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. I, like, I, I don't really know what happened here, but this one did not work out for me. And I, yeah. It doesn't make me want to try CeraVe again just because there's certain skincare brands that I just enjoy or certain products that I enjoy so much. But then when it's like everyone's saying, you need to get this, and then I succumb, then I'm like, oh man. But you know, some other cleansers that I like, I'm, I've am i been very loyal to Dermalogica, their special cleansing gel for such a long time. I use that so often. Recently, I've been trying the one from Crave. They're like, is it like matcha and kale cleanser? I just got that one, but I've been using it every morning for maybe the past like nine days now. And I've been really enjoying that one. So there's some good cleansers out there, but not this one from CeraVe. <laughs> Another product that I used so much of this. When you see this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a true roast on Samantha March. This is from 4th Ray Beauty, which is ColourPop's uh, skincare brand. And this is their Waterfall Gentle Tonic. I used more than half of this and my skin kept reacting to it. And I was like, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm just going to keep using it because I bought it. I, I bought this. I do get some, um, some PR from fourth ray beauty, but everyone started talking about this. I hadn't received it. I bought it myself. I think it was only around like $7. So it wasn't too much money, but everyone was raving about this. This was the first like true hyaluronic acid serum that I started using. You guys remember when all of a sudden hyaluronic acid was being talked about everywhere and it was going into every skincare product and even like makeup products. And you're like, what's going on here? And this also is what made me very angry with marketing for hyaluronic acid because it seemed that every brand that was coming out with a serum or a moisturizer or anything that had to do with hyaluronic acid, no one was actually talking about how to apply and use this ingredient. Hyaluronic acid is best used with a damp face, with, with moisture already on your skin because if you are using it on dry skin, it's actually like sucking out the moisture in your skin. It does the reverse effect. So hyaluronic acid is something that I've realized even using it with damp skin is not my favorite ingredient in skincare. My skin personally just doesn't seem to enjoy it, but I definitely noticed once I started using it with damp skin, I didn't have as I don't even really want to say like severe of reactions, but I was having reactions to this and I was like, I'm just going to keep pushing through. And you know, sometimes I go back to the whole, like your skin needs to purge before, you know, you start to enjoy a product, which that's not always true either. Like some of that, like that can be debunked a little bit, but I kept, look at this. I kept using it even though my skin was like, <sighs> I wanted to love it so badly because so many people did. But yes, if you use hyaluronic acid, please just use it on your damp skin. I have a little water bottle that I keep in my bathroom and I just spray my face pretty much before anything, before moisturizer, before most of my serums, essences, anything like that. A lot of times your skin actually, you will want some moisture already on it and it's gonna help your skincare perform better. Just just a little, t I'll link my water bottle in the description box, okay? I'll link it for you. Product that I really wanted to love, really, really wanted to love this, and I want to love this whole brand because so many people speak highly of it, but so far it's a no-go for me. This is from Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, I just wanna set this on my vanity and be like, oh, hey, you're looking good today, and then have it say the same thing back to me. I think that would be really polite. It's beautiful, I love the bottle. 
this also gives me a reaction. I think I might be like allergic to watermelon because I've noticed watermelon in my skincare is a no-no for me. Um, I've tried different like moisturizers, serums, sheet masks even. Tried, like I mean I didn't try it as long as, I've, as I tried the others, but I mean I, I tried it a decent amount of times even though I was like I think this is doing something to my skin, but I was like, no, push through. Everyone loves Glow Recipe and look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> okay. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Ula Henriksen. Ula Henriksen. I enjoyed this brand for years. I have recommended many of their products. There are still products from them that I do enjoy. I still really like their eye cream. I do enjoy their their like retinol sleeping cream. Still enjoy that one. But for the majority, Ula Henriksen has been so dethroned in my skincare collection. It's comical. All of these products I'm talking about, I still keep like I still obviously I have these. I'm physically showing them to you. I still keep them around as like Maybe someday we'll be friends again. This is the video where I throw them out if they're almost gone or really old or I pass them on to someone else because these don't need to be in my collection anymore. And some of these from Ula Henriksen. Ugh. Okay, let's start with, what, what do we even start with? Their cold plunge pore mask. Really wanted to love this. It's bright blue. It's very catchy for like your Instagram videos and like doing different things like that. But it really... It, do, it does nothing. I feel like right after you use it, there's a little bit of something, but not, you'd have to use it every single time. It just, no. That's a no. That can leave my collection. I have a lot of other masks that I love. Pharmacy has their honey mask I love. First Aid Beauty has the ginger and turmeric mask I love. Even Innisfree has their like volcanic mask. That's a good one. Ofra has some really good skincare masks. No, no, no more. But these, I have the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser and the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. These are just so highly fragranced that it it's, it's like uncomfortable to put onto my skin. And again, not all fragrance, I think I said this in a previous video, but not all fragrance in a skincare is like absolutely the most horrible thing in the world for you. But if you do have sensitive skin, maybe more acne prone skin or just skin sensitivities, to certain fragrances like I was speaking about with with um, watermelon. I almost said Walmart. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if someone else is, you know, obviously, it doesn't matter if someone else is saying this is the best product and it should work for you. If it doesn't personally react well with your skin, you don't have to use it. I'm not talking to you right now. I'm talking to me right now. <laughs> I'm so glad I no longer have my skincare influencer of the year crown and someone named Hiram has it because like this is a roast <laughs> but these i just like i just could not get down with these and i kept wanting to enjoy them because again ula henriksen was a brand i enjoyed for such a long time and it's so funny when people start to come out to be like the ingredients aren't that good and that you know they're higher priced or they have all this fragrance or again just like the ingredients aren't good like they're they're like really not doing anything for you i was like i'm not ready to give up this brand. I've been using them and buying them and recommending them for years. I don't want to give them up yet. So even though as more videos came out, I was like, don't care, don't care. And I finally have gotten over them myself. Sometimes you just need to get over things yourself. You can't have other people push you into it. You gotta come to the conclusion for yourself and then it makes it easier to move on. So that is what has happened with me and Ula Henriksen. I can, I can pretty much officially say that we have broken up. The announcement has been made. We are broken up. I'm sure Ula Henriksen could care less that we are broken up, but you know, that's fine. I have from Fresh, this is their Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Clearly, clearly I have enjoyed this product and I have used a lot of this product and I have talked about this product a lot on my channel. I, I used to quite like it and you know, over time, and I, you know, I really have been on a skincare journey. My skin was the same for 12, 13 years. And within the past two years, it has definitely had a whole journey. It's changed so much. My whole skincare routine has had to change. So a lot of this is where that is stemming from because when your skin is now going from super, super dry, like peeling off your face every day to oily combo and you have to amp up your powder game, it's very strange. And when you go from having completely clear skin and nothing changes that to having hormonal acne and not even recognizing yourself in the mirror, 
there's a whole journey that you're going on so my skincare collection really has changed I thought it was a fine product for a while and probably when I had really clear skin and normal skin not much would really irritate it but I noticed this once my skin changed that it was starting to irritate me it's quite a bit of fragrance in this also but also at the same time I'm just kind of like I don't know if this really does anything besides like it just makes your skin soft which is nice I like having soft skin don't get me wrong but once I really looked a little bit more into the ingredients and really started getting into ingredients, I think winning Skincare Influencer of the Year definitely changed that for me. I almost felt a lot of pressure to be better at skincare, even though I still don't even know why I got nominated in that category, much less won it. But I really felt like I needed to amp up my game well, at the same time, that was right around the time that my skin was changing, which made me feel even more awkward. Looking into the ingredients more, I was like, I really don't think there's much going on here. But still, for some reason, I kept it around because I was like, maybe sometime we'll try to use it. No, Samantha. No. Another product I have is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Coconut Micellar Makeup Melter. I've used quite a bit of this. I don't know if you can really see it through the labeling, but I've used quite a bit of this too. I I really like First Aid Beauty and I really like their skincare and I think that's why I continue to use this even though this does a crap job of removing makeup. <laughs> like I'm just, it doesn't do a very good job. I would use this as like the first defense of taking off makeup and then I would have to come in like with two other cleansing balms just to get my makeup off because I'm like what did that actually do? And I love that it says it dissolves all makeup even long wear and I'm like no it doesn't. It actually doesn't remove anything but I still would keep using it like it's gonna be fine. I love First Aid Beauty. Surely it's gonna just no. It doesn't take anything off. And the last product. <laughs> oh I hope you guys are enjoying watching this video. <laughs> This is from Bosha. This is their detoxifying black cleanser. This is almost gone. This once again is more than halfway gone and this is a cleanser that is so sticky. Like when you pump it out and you're like putting it between your fingers it's like ugh, sticky and it is not cute and even when you put it on your face like it's hard to like blend in because it's just such like a thick sticky cleanser. I don't even know what else to say. I hated the mask in this line, the like detoxifying black, I think it was a peel mask. Oh, I only used that one time and I said, you better get up out of here because that was like one of the worst experiences ever. But this cleanser, I was like, I feel like it's doing a good job of really like cleaning out my pores and it's really making my, my face so clean. No. Why? Why? Again, there's so many other nice cleansers and cleansers with maybe a little bit of exfoliation to them to kind of help help the process along like the Tatcha um, with the rice powder and also just their new rice cleanser. Those are really nice, but the, no. And still I've kept it in my collection like maybe sometime I'll go back to it if I really feel like I need a deep clean. No! No, you will not. You are getting rid of all of these products, Samantha. Thank you so much. I'm telling this to editing Samantha that if she hasn't removed these products yet from her house, that she needs to do it right now. Okay, that is it for today's video. That is it for my skincare roast, and that is it for skincare products that I am no longer using in my collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was kind of different. It's kind of like, I don't know, a dethroned, a declutter a roast all in one. I hope that you liked it. If you'd like to see more videos like this or with makeup products, brands, palettes, foundations, I don't know, let me know. Uh, other than that though, that is it. A big thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Please make sure to check them out. I will have their link in my description box and remember that they have 15% off now on the website. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new pieces. I hope this video brought you some joy. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.